This lab uses a different concept of density than you're probably normally used to using. In this particular case, we're using mass per unit length. So, in this case, the best units of measure would be grams per meter or grams per centimeter. Those are both acceptable. As part of the actual experiment, we have two different ways of measuring density. In this case, you would uh, bring the string up to the scale, the balance, and just simply weigh it, and then take its length of the, of the amount of string you measure. For the part where you actually vibrate the string, you have to take into account several different things. In this case, we're recording the frequency and the and harmonic. That's these two parameters here. In addition, we need to know things such as the mass that's on the hanger. This is not the same as the string mass. Obviously, gravity, which is 9.79 meters per second squared. Four, which is a constant. This is the length of the string, as mentioned earlier, between the top of the pulley and the hook. We have to square that. And finally, the unknown parameter of density. We simply have to solve for this. In Your equipment for the final lab should consist of the following. A mechanical vibrator, this is an adjustable frequency vibrator. The generator itself, which is actually responsible for driving that. The rods and uh, stand here, you can adjust that as you need. You can also adjust this, the pulley, as far as length, if you need it to be longer or shorter. The string itself, which you're measuring the density of, the objective of this lab is to measure, measure the density. And finally, the weight hook and some weights. These are what you use to adjust the tension on the string. Fine. And for the string lab, what we, can, what we need to do here is determine the string density per unit length. What you can see on camera here is the second harmonic of a string. So, the point of this experiment consists of the fre knowing the frequency and how many anti-nodes, that is to say which harmonic we're on. In this case, we're on the second harmonic, meaning a whole wave fits between here and this end here. So, we've already recorded this frequency and the second harmonic, so let us tune to the third if we can find it, and potentially the fourth, fifth, and sixth, and so on. So, what we need to do to do this is adjust the frequency. Notice how as I adjust the frequency upward, the string amplitude gets smaller and smaller until it becomes indeterminate. And then suddenly, we can see three no anti-nodes instead of two. We simply tune the frequency until that becomes as wide as it uh, uh, can. So it looks like our third harmonic is at about 29 hertz. Likewise, we can simply tune up to the fourth harmonic